If you're thinking about buying into a blue-green resort contract, I'm going to tell you all the lies that we were told while we were going into the seminar. Now this is purely entertainment purpose only and only my opinion and what happened to us. If you're planning on staying at a blue-green resort and possibly going to their timeshare sales pitch, I'm going to save you a lot of time, money, and frustration by watching this video. This is what's happened to us when we checked in to a blue-green resort. We stayed at the fountains in Orlando for five straight days and upon check-in we were directed over to the concierge. Over there there's a counter with three guys behind it and they started asking what we were going to do on vacation, what we we're planning on doing on certain days. Uh, just kind of being friendly but a little bit strange at the same time. Then the gentleman said, well on Wednesday, I didn't know if you knew this, but it was going to be a downpour. It was going to rain all day long. So if you want, I can sign you up for this seminar to go to, to tell you about our timeshare program. Now, for you guys to come to the timeshare program, we're going to give you a $100 gift card. We're going to give you an eight night, seven day stay at one of our premier resorts and a three day, two night stay at one of our luxury resorts. He said this seminar is going to be two hours long and we're going to give you the gifts up front before you even go in to the seminar. We're one of the very few resorts that do this. No other resort gives these type of packages and gives you the package deal up front. So I told him I would go talk about it with my wife and I'll get back with him. And he said, well, I can only sign you up at check-in and this deal is void if you leave the clubhouse. So I said, you know what, go ahead and sign me up. It's only two hours long and I can leave. And he said, yes, of course, it's from nine to 11. Uh, at 11 o'clock, you're more than welcome to get up and walk out. You don't have to stay for uh, anything else in the meeting. Signed us up, Wednesday morning, we went down to the clubhouse at nine o'clock. We both had to show IDs and a major credit card. We had to fill out a little bit of paperwork. I looked it over. Didn't look like anything uh, too important. Wasn't going to be uh, anything financial. So once we got into the clubhouse, we got signed in. Uh, there were several other couples there. And then we started seeing all these salesmen come out in high dollar suits, uh, expensive jewelry, designer shoes, uh, talking very loudly. Uh, just being kind of over the top. So I was thinking to myself, why do I want to pay for a timeshare? I'm paying for all these salesmen. I'm sure this is going to be expensive and half the money we, we'd be paying is going to these salesmen with all their high dollar suits and expensive jewelry. Anyway, I thought the package deal was good for a two hour seminar. So we got hooked up with a salesman. He takes us back to another room. And we told them, okay, this is only till 11 o'clock, correct? Because we do have something to go to at noon, which is very important to us. He said, no, uh, this is going to be probably three to three and a half hours long. And I said, well, the gentleman at the counter when we checked in said it was 9 to 11. And at 11 o'clock, we could get up and walk out. And we still get all of our free deals. And he said, this was not the case. The seminar is 9 to 11. And then we have to go on a tour. That's about another hour. And then we're going to go into another room where we talk about kind of the contracts and the pricing. And he said that's about another hour. So it's actually four hours total. Now we had a commitment to be somewhere else at noon and I said there's no way I can stay. He pressured us to reschedule for another date, which we had other plans on going to Disney and Universal. So we started to walk out and then he got his manager to stop us. He talked to us and tried to talk us into another day, another time, what can we do? And then finally, as we were getting ready to go out the door, another gentleman, as they kind of went higher up the ranks, this guy was trimmed out in a full on suit, half inch gold necklace, and looked like he was straight up out of a mafia, a boss movie. He tried to do a little bit of an intimidation factor in trying to keep us down there get us into the seminar. He said, we'll, we'll get you out as soon as possible. We said, no thanks, we're done. Uh, we've been lied to uh, starting from the time we checked in about this. We're not interested. 
walked out the door. So if you're looking at staying at a Blue Green Resort, they are nice resorts, but just avoid this timeshare sales pitch. Now I have seen other videos on this Blue Green timeshare scam, and a lot of people who actually went through the whole entire seminar got their $100 gift card, got their eight night, seven day stay package deal, got their three night, two day package deal, said that when it comes to uh, reserving a room or a suite with their package deals, that all the rooms were booked and those dates didn't work and a lot of people aren't even able to use them. Most everyone said the $100 gift card did work after the seminar, but a lot of people said the total time they spent there was right around five hours. Now that's some of the stuff I got off the internet doing some research. I'm just giving you my experience. Uh, we did not stay for the seminar, we had to leave, but it was probably around 40 minutes of wasted time and just being lied to. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informational. It saves you a little time, effort, and definitely a headache by not going. Thanks for watching.